Birmingham and Corby. Should be a hot one today. 22 degrees. Captains are down the middle for the coin toss. Corby of cord tails. And it's tails into Pat. So Corby have won the toss. And they are going to bowl. So the point in Birmingham in. Captain Patrick Merritt won't be too disappointed by that. It looks like it's going to be a fine day. I don't know if we're batting. And hopefully nothing's going to be happening too serious on the bit on the pitch. But after three days you never know. So there we go. Bates coming in to bat. Change of bowling. The captain is going with pace. Okay, it's good news for Bates. Doesn't like facing pace. When you can time the ball. It's probably risky. Probably risky. Uh, good one there. Good one there, when it really, really looked like one. Struggling for runs at the moment, so we want to try and find as many runs as we can from anywhere. Without taking too many risk it, risks. Wait. That's Paul. Yeah! That is Paul. <sighs> it was there. It was there to be hit. Disappointing. Absolutely disappointing. So look what we made in the end. 119. O'Brien and Stevens top scoring on 31. Change of bowling. The captain is going with pace. So we are out to bat. Out to bowl, sorry. Didn't think he'd be bat bowling already. Currently, got to show some form because he hasn't been shown anything at the moment. Waiting. Don't want to put anything on the leg side. Don't want to put too straight. That's going to enable him to pull or anything. So it needs to be that sort of line. Get him driving. Get him back. Nothing on, nothing straight, nothing on the left side. Yep. Just saying, nothing straight. Exactly what he bowls. Gets punished for it. Oh. Is that two or three runs there? It's three runs. So once again, nothing straight. Or on the leg side. Just keep bowling that line all day, hopefully. Yep. Yep, straight again. Down the leg side, and gets punished. It's going to happen every time. End of the over. The score is now none for 47. So the Russell, the Corby captain was right to put Birmingham into bat. Yep. It's edged. It's typical that it goes right through the gap. Should be four runs potentially. Fielder might look, be looking to cut that off. Yes, he does. Should still be three runs though. Yep. Three more runs to Corby. But a better line though. Better line.
better ball there. If you're just getting him leaving, keep playing that ball. Same ball, that little corridor. And he's eventually going to be forced to play. He wants to leave it at the moment. Once again, too short. Well, lucky that ball's found the fielder. Too straight there, sorry. Fourteenth over. It will be currently sixty for naught. Wait there. It's better. Good line there. If we just mix it up with the variations. Yep. Oh, it's close. A little bit too straight though. A little bit too much on the leg side. Just able to glance it. Probably go for boys, but. Oh, got a bit of bat to that. But once again, too straight, too much on the leg side. It's going to get punished. Right. With that sort of line. And very length. So we're looking to play this short now. We've just got to be down that same line. Yep. Bonus! Just one run to concede with that. better. See, so get him play that line, you get him playing. Get him playing when he doesn't want to. He was leaving balls like that before. Yep. Once again, just played it too straight. Gets punished. Possibly three runs there. Yep. Easy three runs there. Particularly when the field is crowded so uh, offside packed. Better ball, better line. Back to him leaving those again. Too straight, too straight for that man there. It's a little bit closer in now, he picks up, picks up anything like that. So he got away with that that time. If he beats the man anywhere on the offside, and that's fine. You've made him play there. But you don't want to be giving him anything juicy on the leg side at all. Yes. Oh, that was close. That was close. Just the one run there. But he's getting the back a little bit of difficulties there. Waiting. So he's good starting to bowl line and length. different variations. Yep. That's a good shot. Four runs. Looks like he was just able to just step across the line there. And that was the last time we bowled. Captain didn't really like what was going on there, so now it's back to Bowling in, so we'll look at the state of the match. We'll get to that one. So, Corby in the first thing, they 339 runs. So, at the start of the rings, we were currently we were trading by 220. But now, Grant O'Brien's got us off to a good start in the first day of that with one run. Let's head over to the action for the second run, Jonathan Bates, to continue. Yes! And that was a good shot. It was a lot better from Bates. Found the gap. Two runs. Good two runs there. Something he wasn't able to do at all in the first innings. So that's what Bates wants to be able to do. Let's get it in those nice little areas. So 
once again we've got everything on the offside, all options open. Except That's a good shot. Should love be looking at two runs there, yep. Easy two runs. So he's bowling positively now. Gap on the leg side still there, we can always go fine as well. Catch it. And that's a great shot. That's good. Shot. No pressure there because there's no one there. Four runs. So a good start so far. This second inning by Bates. Looking in the same sort of area again now. Nothing there. Got it outside the off stump. So that's the line you need to bowl. It's exactly the same thing that I was doing in the previous innings. Don't bowl anything straight. <gasps> oh, he's edged it. Straight to third slip. Oh, he's yeah. out. Straight to third slip. Ah. The dismissed batsman caught out for nine. It's unlucky. Definitely an unlucky one, though. 